You're watching Telecom TV's exclusive video coverage of the NGMN industry event from Frankfurt. And joining me now is Frank Galupo, who is General Manager of Customer Experience Management at Spirant. Frank, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What's Spirant's involvement in the 5G process? Well, Spirant uh, has, uh, has acquired the company that I was uh, CEO of about a year ago. And our focus has been on big uh, data customer analytics. Uh, and now, as we anticipate the introduction of 5G, uh, it interests us tremendously as both Spiron and, and as formerly DAX Technologies in that um, uh, 5G is putting a great deal of emphasis on improvement in customer satisfaction and improving the customer's experience. And of course, that's exactly what our software is targeted at doing. So we, we look at uh, the emergence of 5G in the next uh, couple of years as uh, critically important to the future of our business and the future of Spiron. With so many different views and variations of what 5G could or should be, what's Spiron's view of 5G? I've had limited exposure to, to a number of the white papers because, as I, as, uh, as I mentioned, we, we somewhat trail the introduction of the, of the technology as we adopt our software to uh, some of the emerging um, applications and services that 5G will make possible. But I think what's, what's evident is that 5G will uh, continue, you know, the marvel that is wireless technology in that it's going to make more applications possible because of increased bandwidth, increased speeds uh, to the wireless device. So uh, we see this as yet another challenge for the carriers to, uh, to ensure that their customer satisfactions are high and that they, that they gain the loyalty of their customers and hold on to their uh, business uh, for as long as possible. As we move towards 5G, what are some of the challenges in handling network issues in today's networks? Yeah, that's a very good question. Well, what we found working with one of the largest carriers in the United States is that as, as the network transactions become more complex, the services that, that they support the variety of, of handsets and devices that are now utilized on the wireless network, that the complexity of the end-to-end -end, uh, network uh, connectivity has become extremely complex. And, uh, and it's only going to get more complex with 5G. As a result, there are a lot of areas where the network can, uh, can encounter problems as it, as it establishes these calls across these broad number of services. And it leads, it leads to possibilities of, of, of a number of different uh, uh, problem areas or hotspots, as we call them, that can be developed, that can develop, that can significantly impact customer satisfaction. Uh, we, uh, we're now working uh, in the introduction of voice over LTE uh, with this particular customer that we've been working with in the United States. And we're, we're quite surprised at how complex the call setup and the call teardown of a Volte call is. And it adds a great deal of uh, complexity to the, uh, to the maintenance of, of the network and the assurance of customer satisfaction. And as this evolves to cover voice over Wi-Fi, for instance, this is just going to get more complex. Absolutely, absolutely. Particularly with, with the introduction of devices that can handle Wi-Fi calls uh, or voice over LTE over Wi-Fi emanating from, from our homes. It just adds yet another level of complexity to uh, to the overall service provisioning that the carriers are facing. Yeah. So how can an operator use customer analytics to stay ahead of emerging network problems? Well, the shift that we've, that we've been a part of is, is to take the emphasis off of a constant look at uh, network and service metrics as a way of ensuring customer satisfaction. We found that uh, that falls short and doesn't scale very well. So our emphasis has been on m improving the quality of experience for the individual customer and for large groups of customers, and using uh, that measurement, uh, looking for hotspots in the network that affect the greatest number of customers, possibly some number of those customers as being high revenue customers, uh, and focusing on solving their problems first. And in those areas where there are considerable hotspots that have been identified, and through this, you can prioritize where you want to put your limited resources in terms of ensuring you know, customer satisfaction, as opposed to looking at 
network metrics and you know, focusing in on, on just large network elements that could be affecting some number of customers, but not necessarily the most important customers. As our networks evolve, are customer requirements and the customer experience also changing? Well, I think that, I think that it is in that, um, like for so many years now in the wireline network, the wireless network, particularly in North America, has become saturated. Uh, there aren't many opportunities to attract new customers. Uh, so it, it, it is critically important for uh, carriers like Verizon and AT&T in the United States to maintain uh, or to retain the customers that they currently have. Uh, to do that, they had to ensure that the customer's experience is exceptional. And so we are now shifting toward looking at the network performance from a proactive standpoint in that today a lot of the emphasis is placed on quickly uh, resolving trouble tickets that are that originated by customer care representatives who take uh, complaints over the phone from customers or a response to network alarms that are created when a, when a hardware or software failure occurs in a particular critical uh, network element. Our, our software now enables, uh, enables the operator to uh, actually see these hotspots develop before they either uh, cause a call from a customer or uh, create an alarm. Uh, and therefore, as we see the service levels start to degenerate, we can activate uh, some alerts to, to the maintenance people to say something is going on in this part of the network. And if you, if you act on it right away, the probability is you're going you're gonna to avoid any customer calls or any alarms from happening and therefore proactively resolve the problem before it becomes a major customer satisfaction issue. Frank Galupo, thank you very much. Thank you very much.